Hey yo, it's your boy Los. Let's get it. Winning, 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 winning. Win. Boy, you know I'm from the dub. Duh. Play hard for the rock. For the rock. Still got over green boy, young Draymond of the block. Yeah. Came a long way from the bottom and I ain't far from the top. Yeah. Raindrops on raindrops, I'm Clay Tom with the shots. Splash. Don't matter where I go, go. I'm a rep for the team. team. Father, son, holy ghost, still rep like step for the three. Yeah. Got him hating yeah. on your boy like OKC to KD. Uh. Tell him run him up, we gon' turn the thunder up on him like yeah. Alright, so we're talking this morning, about to be rainy morning, um, about Bizzle's latest album. Um, wow, okay. Uh, the Missioner, the uh, the Messenger, sorry, Volume Four, um, Independence Day. Um, yeah, off God over money. Um, and and you know, I'm I'm a little. I've been wrestling back and forth with how I feel about this album. Right. Sorry about that light right there. <coughs> I apologize. Um, it's light but not light enough so i gotta put it on please forgive me hope it doesn't blind you so my bad but uh, i've been wrestling back and forth for how i feel about this album right um and the wrestle is based off of a few things um this album to me i think is it has it has the potential to be great why? Because I think Bizzle's a great MC. Um, I think he's actually a dope MC in a lot of ways. Um, I think he 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 sets the blueprint for how. I, th I think he was the blueprint for what gave Dayton the idea for doing an album called Christian Hip Hop um, Isn't Dead, right? I think his style, his, the dopest in his style, is what will remind a a, a Christian. Who feels that maybe I should go hear his secular music? That, no, no, no. We got some, we got some hitters over here. We got some bangers over here. And so I, I, I'm a fan of of, of uh, Bizzle's style. I'm a fan of the way um, he orchestrates his words and he, he just, he's, he's, his mind is, is by God's beautiful grace, beautiful. Um, and the way he puts words together, it really is. And how he falls over beats. Um, I, I don't recall a beat offhand that I think he. Um, just you know, fumbled over. Uh, I feel like he always goes in the booth and gives you 110, <clears throat> and I'm a fan of that. I'm a fan of guys who care enough about me as a consumer and gives me their all, right? But to me, what makes this album here fall is not this, not not the content fully, or should I say, not the not, not the content, but the theme of this album. I think the theme of this album is what makes this album not as great as it could be on, on, in my viewpoint. Here's what I mean by that. The thing with this album is, in a lot of ways, I'm dope, no one can touch me. Oh, by the way, God made me this dope and God made me untouchable. And it's just very, very, it's, it's a, it's a, not a very prideful album, but it has pride in it and pride is not necessary. It's not necessary for, in my opinion, I don't think Bizzle needs to Prove himself. I, I felt like, yeah, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I felt this album was the kind of album you put out if you drop like like bombs, right? Like like terrible albums your whole career, and you're trying to prove somebody like, yo, I'm trying to tell you something. I'm dope with this. I'm dope with this. And so you drop an album like this, and you talk like this to show how dope you are to prove a point. I think this is already proving a point. Um, and and I, I get this from so the first song, Messenger. The first song is the title song of the album. And when I push play and I'm listening to it, and it just, it just, it was, it had a very ego, egotistical kind of, kind of flow to it. The theme of it was really just, he tried to throw, you know, pieces of God into it, but it really was how they attacked me, they came at me, but I'm still, I'm still here, I'm still at it, you know what I'm saying? They can't stop me. Uh, you know, this and the third, I just was like, okay. And like I said, I don't think he needs to, to portray that. Then the very next song is called Lucky You, which had me scratching my head. And, and honestly, I laughed. I, I, I laughed a lot on that song. And that's not disrespectful. And I'm sorry, but let me explain why. Um, the, 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 the theme of that song there is basically talking to the secular realm of hip hop, right? And he is saying to them, y'all better be glad. Literally saying, y'all better be glad I'm on this side, meaning the Christian side, CHH side. I'm on this side, because if I was on that side, I'd be destroying y'all's rap career, right? And he's saying, so lucky you. Um, and I'm listening to that song, and I'm listening, and I just started laughing, and I, and I, it was, un, it wasn't, it was unscripted kind of laugh, because I'm like, my first question in my head was, well, who, 
who have you, whose career have you even come close to, to stopping? <laughs> like, for real, like, when, and he brings up, he came at Jay, well, on a messenger, he said he came at Jay, came at Ross, but you, you think about when Rizzo first came out, he came at Jay, and he came at uh, Rick Ross, and came at Kanye, <coughs> and other people, right? And I think he came at Beyonce and Rihanna as well. And so of them five right there, right, not one of them five missed a meal because of Bizzle. Not one of them five was ever like, oh, we can't eat, can't feed my kids with Bizzle. No. And so I'm, I'm sitting there like, so who, who, whose career were you going to end? Because it was, I, I didn't get that. It bothered me. And then I thought about, well, well, hold on. Maybe he's talking about, you know, present dudes, right? And I think, well, no, no, because he's not better than Cole. He's not better than Kendrick. He's not even he's not better than even better than Dayton. Like there's 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 like a, a laundry list of dudes in our in our general genre in, in CHH that I think I personally think will just give Bizzle the business. And so I'm just I'm puzzled as I'm hearing the album just just dumbfounded as to uh, hearing the song sorry dumbfounded as to what he's talking what's his point what's he trying to get at and it just bothered me because I just didn't think it just wasn't one it wasn't necessary and two it was just comical. Um, other songs in this other songs in this album that, that bothered me was like song song called Poppin', Get It Poppin'. Um had a had a rugged, you know, let's, let's get it, you know, you got something to say, I'll come see you kind of feel to it. Not necessarily saying that's where he was going with that song, but that's the kind of feel I got with it when someone says let's get it poppin'. Um and I just kinda I'm gonna be straight with you, man. This, this is something I disrespect for and I'm so sorry about that. But but I, I chuckled at once again at that because I don't see Bizzle as I I I love how he raps and I love what he says when he raps, but I'm not believing the the tough guy in the raps if that makes sense. Um, and I'm not trying to say I'm no gangster dude. I'm definitely not trying to say I, I you know I, no, I'm not that's I'm not saying that's me. I'm just saying there's just certain guys when you listen to and you say oh. Yeah, he a killer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. I, I believe what he just said. He shot six people this morning on the way to the studio. I believe that. There's just certain guys when they spit, you're just like, yo, he did that. And no disrespect, but Bizzle's not one of those to me, right? I, he might be in real life, might really, you know, get busy, whatever. I don't know. But I'm just saying, to me, that's just not the impression I got from him. But yeah, that's the impression that he puts out there. And so I just, you know, I'm not gonna lie, man. Like as the album began, I was really kind of bothered, just like, yo, this is. Production is dope and his wordplay is, is great because he's, he's a dope MC, but I just felt like the direction of this album to me was just not a good direction. Um, but but a couple but, but there's a few songs on the album that I was like, whew, did that, you know, so that I actually enjoyed like a song called Crazy with Dayton on it. Um Dayton's verse, the whole song was pretty dope, really. Just basically talking about how, you know, how how crazy uh, a society's making us and so on and so forth. Um, I think he did, they did both a great job. Dayton's verse, to me, was the dopest of it, only because personally, it, it touched me. He spoke about uh, parents, how Satan will use parents' devices or cell phones, tablets, whatever, to basically parent their kids, as opposed to the parent actually doing their job. And that touched me because there is times when my wife and I do um, lean on the tablets or the, or, the, or the cell phones. So here, get to the girls. Basically, we had a rough day or whatever, whatever. Here you go. And, and let them... Uh, babysit our kids at times, so I felt very convicted about that, and I, and I praise God for their for their message on, the, the, on, on that song. They're reminding me, as the head of my household, that it is my job, as well as as well as my wife's job, to to watch our kids, to govern our kids, and to teach our kids and entertain our kids, not necessarily the, the cell phones. And so <clears throat> I definitely got that, and I, and I love that. Um, another song I love called uh, "Fill Up the Cup," which is it's like the second song before the last. Um, dope song, just a reminder of prayer, reminds of our need to be in prayer, our need to um, um, uh, uh, con uh, continue communication with the Father. Dope song. Um, Good Boys is, is a dope track as well. I like that. Little, you know, it's, it, it was dope. I like that. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, there's, there's, uh, there's, 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 there's some hits in there. I'm not going to lie. There's, there's some bangers in here. But the song to me that I find myself running back to every time I, I play this album, Lord knows how many times, and I have found myself, when I put the album on, I go straight to the song, um, Who's the Man? Um, because for me, that song touched my heart in such a way that no song that I can think of all the top of my head has ever touched my heart because I felt like I wrote that song. Obviously, I didn't, but I felt like I wrote that song because of how, how 
how serious it was. And when my wife, she heard the album, she heard the song. When my wife heard the album, she said, we can make up his mind. <laughs> is he gonna be, is he gonna brag or is he gonna not gonna brag? She, my wife was like, and she's not a hip hop person, she, well, she, at times, but she was like, I get the impression like, he wants to brag, but he knows it's not Christian like to brag, so he ain't gonna brag, but yeah, he gonna tell you he ain't gonna brag while he's bragging. And I just laugh, that, she, she cracks me up. But we got to the song, Who's the Man? And that song, she just kind of like, wow, because real quick, <clears throat> when we was in Atlanta before we uh, were engaged, actually, so this is back 2009, 2010-ish, um, we were walking, she came down to visit, I was in Atlanta, she was in Chattanooga, she came down to visit, and we went to the underground. If you don't know what the underground is, not a place to go, <laughs> unless you, at nighttime. A certain area in the night and at nighttime, and so we had parked kind of ways out the way. And we had went to the movie, got some eat, and I said, Let's just go walk around. So we went down there, parked the car, and just went for a walk, had a good little time. And we kind of found ourselves kind of far out. And as we're walking, this guy walks towards us. Now, every man knows that when a guy walks in towards you and you're with your lady, you you put your he's on the lady side of your lady, you put your lady on the other side just out of respect. And I did that. And this guy he mumbled something under his breath. And I said, I stopped being me. And I said, yo, what'd you say? And he kind of looks at me and he's like, and just walks off. I, I said, yo, bro, what'd you say? And he didn't say nothing else. I'm like, whatever, man. And so we leave and we walk away. We walk a far distance. And so Teresa goes, she says, uh, when we get to the car, she said, did you hear what he said? And I was like, nah. So her thought process is, we're far enough away. At the time, I got lost in Atlanta all the time. So there's no way in her mind that I could find my way back. And realistically, there was no way. Um, and so she tells me then, yo, he called you a, she didn't say the words, but she paraphrased blankety blank a blank, you know what I'm saying? A, a B-A N-word, right? Um, and so she was like, I said, word? She's like, yeah. She said, come on, baby, let's go. I'm like, all right, cool. So we get in the car and we're driving. And so she's talking to me. Like, yeah, so the movie was this, that, and the third, and the food. Oh, I love the food. And then she stops. She goes, are we, are we back here? <laughs> and so... I don't know how, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna say the enemy led me, which is a strong possibility. I found my way back to where old boy was at. And man, I got out the car and then we pulled up by the area. And she said, what were you What were you gonna do? And I was like, man, I had something for him. And I had forgot, I was so heated and so hot, right? I had forgot that when we walked up, when we first on down the way, my man, if you know anything about selling drugs or you know whatever, whatever uh, one thing that people do, they, they'll put um, the drugs or the gun, whatever, um, on the front tire, close to the curb. That way, you know, easy to grab, whatever, whatever. Anyways, and so he had done that. And so I had saw the handle, so I knew it was a gun there. And she's like, he had a gun. And I was like, yo, I don't care, he disrespected me. And then she looked and she stopped. She looked at me and she says, what about me? And I remember just stopping for a second. She says, what if he would have shot you and I'm out here by myself? Or what if he would have shot me? And I ain't gonna lie, I was, I was dumbfounded. And at the time I was doing an internship at Blueprint Church with Show Baraka and Lecrae and all of them there. And <laughs> the next day she called my elders and told them on me, like, this is what Carlos did. And she didn't do it in a, in a spiteful way, she did it in a loving way. You need to talk to your man. And I came in the next day thinking everything was everything. And shoot, boy, I got a, boy, I got a lecture. Boy, I got that. <laughs> so, but it was cool. And so, uh, yeah, and so, and so here in this song here, he's speaking about uh, a time where he's driving with his wife and his kids and a guy cuts him off. And then, you know, he, he, he wants to let it slide, but old boy's pressing the issue. And because he got a wife and kids in the car, he feels all of a sudden he has to bulk up and, you know, and, and, and you know, do his thing and, and, and talk greasy with old boy. It just kind of kind of makes the situation worse than what it already is, right? And then, but yet he eventually just says, you know, it's cool, whatever, forget it, man, go on. And he leaves. And then, but that whole night he's sitting there at home pondering on what just happened, thinking, yo, I should have done this, should have done that, right? And then he has dreams about how bad things could have went. And as I'm hearing the song, it just made me think about, yo, that could have been me. I could have done the same thing. And praise God just for, for and his wife in the song, you know, reminds him of the, uh, one that, you know, that this can go bad for one, for two, you got us and the kids in the car, and you're scaring the kids and whatever, whatever. And praise God for godly women to, to instruct us and to remind us to fall back when we need to fall back. Praise God for my wife as well. Uh, it just it was a great time for that. And I praise God for for that. And so it's a dope song, man. Dope, dope, dope song. The very last song, the song he's been doing for a little while now, uh, the gospel song. Um, thought that was pretty dope, really. Uh, if you remember, those who are my old heads remember, back in the day, cats would do um, 
<laughs> altar calls at the end of their albums when they would, you know, they play the play the album and at the very last song they got some subtle music, some laid back music playing and they introduce you to Christ. Um, what Bizzle's done in his last three albums is he's played the song that he presented on the first album of the three, uh, the gospel, and he kind of walks through with his kids, walks through the gospel from the fall to Abraham to um, Abraham and Isaac and to where we are now and so on and so forth. And just I think. I don't. There's 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 parts that I don't agree with of that of, of that. But for the most part, overall, I love what he was trying to do. He's trying to convey. Um, I, I'm a fan of it. Uh, a fan of that that the, the theme and the thought of that. But overall, here's the thing. Like I said, so I wrestled back and forth. I think the production was dope on his album. I enjoyed the production. I think I think the lyrics. He was he man. He's a, he's a very lyrical dude, man. I love how he thinks. I love how he orchestrates his words. I, I I enjoyed the album for what I could enjoy the album for. But I'm not going to lie and say that he wasn't being mad prideful. Like, he was just the man. Like he was just killing the game. And I'm just sitting there. I, I really chuckled. Like, real, real. Life. Like, yo, real? Like, I had to, like, I said, I didn't hear that right. I literally played back, like, oh, he said that. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? This was a, this was a prideful thing. And I felt, like I said, I felt like he had, like, he, I felt like he felt he needs to prove himself. And then if you ever, or, sorry, Biz, if you ever see this, my guy, first of all, know that it's a man I love. Second of all, you ain't got nothing to prove, my guy. Like, you've proven by God's grace already that you, you're a dope MC. The God has, the Lord has blessed you with, with skills and abilities to, 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 to handle business for, on his behalf. There's no need to do songs called, like, Lucky You and uh, we just get it popping. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyways, there's no there's no need for that, man. There's there's none at all, man. Um, like I said, I, I I I you know, hey, man. Uh, this album reminded me of. It, I just I probably so I watched, listen to this album, right? I thought about. Don't take this wrong. You guys are, and it's fine. I'm cool with it. But I thought about kids that are that are not from this genre. This is stick with that right who, who I, uh, <laughs> let's just say I, I, my, I envision some young men who would look nothing like me with their hats to the back listen to this album here feeling confident like yeah sir and getting it you know so I felt as I hear this album I was thinking to myself like I could see a mad dudes scrunching their face up and just, I, I could see it I could see it and this album would be the fuel to Pushed him into that direction. <sighs> it's gonna be funny, but no. Overall, man, I, I I enjoyed the album. Outside of that, the message is always dope. I think he does an amazing job of of reaching the youth and and, and just reaching those in sin, right? And doing his best to show their need for Christ, their need for for change, their need for 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 difference. Uh, oh, hold on one second. Sorry, I know I forgot something. Yeah, the need for change, need for difference, the need for all that. I think it's dope. And one great way on that song, a great way of that was a song here called Rick Ross. Now, of course, when you hear that, so you see the title, you know in the past, like you said, here in the messenger, he says he went at Rick Ross. And so, um, if you know in the past, he went at Rick Ross. And so you see the title of that song, and I, my first thought was, oh, man, you know, he's going to Rick Ross again, which is fine. I'm not a fan of Rick Ross, so it's whatever. Slice him up. It's cool. Um, but... In actuality, he was saying, not talking about Rick Ross, the rapper, but, Rick, but free, free, free way Ricky, uh, who was a drug dealer, kingpin that went to jail for a number of years, got out and doing his thing now. Um, uh, he's talking about him. So basically what Bizzle was saying was before Christ, he sold drugs. And basically if Christ hadn't come around, he would be like free, free way Ricky. Um, and I thought that was pretty, I thought it was dope. Once again, not going to front. I didn't, that's eh, whatever, but that's eh, whatever. But I, I was really encouraged by the fact of him reminding Cassie, Yo, you don't have to do this, man, that, that Christ, because he says a line here about how when Christ showed him uh, uh, what he was doing was destroying people, it really affected him. And he saw people's kids that it was his kids. And I was blessed by that, man. I was like, praise God, man. That was, that was a dope, that was dope. I love that. Um, so that's a dope song. Another song in here that I was found very encouraging, um, Hold Me Down. Uh, talked to his wife, basically. He repeated his line uh, about do something about holes over bros. He said, but what if she's not one of those, though? thought that was a dope line. Uh, I, I loved it when he first said it, on uh, first time about his wife. And on this song here, I loved it then as well. Um, just a dope reminder of about how beautiful our wives are and love our wives and how our wives got our back and how, you know, the Lord has graced us with just beautiful, beautiful women um, and how we need to cherish them and, and, and just, man, dope. Um, I love that song. I really enjoyed that song. Um, the song, you know, Smoke Free was Smoke Free with KB. Um, 
it's funny, man. I I am always excited when KB jumps on a feature, man. I think I've said it before, said it again, and that's it. KB's my guy. I love, man. I love when we talk on Facebook. Good dude, man. But I, like I said before, I said again, I'm not a I'm not a fan of K, uh, K, uh, KB's <coughs> KB's albums, but his features, whew, features are bonkers. Features like man, when KB does a feature, it's like kill it. This one here, got him in. He, he didn't he didn't give it to me like like I wanted him to. He gave it. Don't get it twisted. K KB did his thing, but it just it didn't have that that KB to it. His voice sounded different. It just it, it didn't have it. It, 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 it was good, but it, it wasn't. It was it was good for the average, but it wasn't the KB good. I I was very shocked by that. Not gonna lie, to you. I was very shocked that this feature here didn't really do it for me. Uh, oh, Jerry Sat uh, Sanders is on here as well. He's on the song with uh, 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 Bizzle for Crazy. He sings. I know he sounds like he just raps. Uh, but yeah, he sung pretty well in this song. Overall, man, there, there, there's there's there's, uh, there's, yeah, there's there's some good songs in here. But overall, man, not gonna lie, um, good album, man. I enjoy the album. I just didn't believe a couple of lines, uh, a couple of songs, and I just didn't think he needs anything to prove. And I don't think he, I don't think he need to be prideful. Um, talk about slicing dudes and you know my lyrical this that and third. I just don't think I don't think that's necessary. You know what I'm saying? Like, even going back to the whole thing with Dayton's album, you know, Christian Pop ain't dead. Like, I don't think you need to even announce that. You know what I'm saying? Like, we have so many hitters by God's grace still here that we don't necessarily need to announce that. Just keep killing the game, like we're killing the game for the glory of the Lord. I'm, I ain't gonna front with you, man. There was some dudes as he was as he was doing the whole Lucky You. I, I promise you, my mind just left, and I'm just like. I know dudes personally that I would say could give you business if you want to go that right. If you you think you all, you like that, right? Ugh, let me calm down. If if he really thinks he's killing it like that, like I, I my man Josh, I man, hey, <laughs> my man Josh, Gary and Barlow, Bar man, uh, man, Genesis dropped a, a banger just recently. By the way, I am going to review that. My bad, my god, I, I got it. I just my bad. Um, we can go through, and let's not even talk about Raph and Grace, Cats, and Christ-centric, and Fanatic, and there, there is a, a laundry list of individuals, if you want to get prideful about it, you want to, you know, say, talk that talk, there's a laundry list of dudes who, who will definitely give biz that business, you know what I mean? But, nevertheless, I waste enough time, like I said, I like the album, I'm a fan, just hate that, though, real talk. Anyways, love y'all, man. <laughs> My man said, lucky you. They'll be glad I'm over here because, well, I'm... Grace and peace, y'all. <laughs> All right, real quick. So sorry. <laughs> I keep making this bad boy longer than it needs to be. Um, just left the gym. We got a quick little workout in. And I'm listening to the album as usual. Like I said, I, I'm, I enjoy the album for what I can enjoy the album for. Um, but as I'm listening to this, I forgot. I don't know how I could have forgot this. Although... Like I said what I said, I am loud. <laughs> like I said what I said about the song popping, um, I still stand where I stand on that. But I have to applaud him on the real talk for my, how lyrically he was in that, in that song and how truthful he was in that song too. Not just lyrically. <clears throat> my man said something that many of us have already said, but it's so, said it's, it's so truthful. My man said, Kid, these boys can't even, can't even pick their bedtime, yet you're gonna tell them, they, they can tell you what gender they wanna be. This dope, man. Like, like I said, he, he's always hitting the culture, man. He's always attacking and, and being the the the, the circle peg and, and a bunch of rectangles. You know what I'm saying? I hope I said that right, but you get my point. He's always been that guy. He, and I think he did a great job with it. And that song there, he just dope songs. A little private still, but dope song. Um, but also, there's a song that I don't. I, I like the song. I forgot to mention this earlier. So I like the song. I just can't stand the title, and it's Christ Gang. My goodness, that is that is. I can't express how much I dislike, almost hate the phrase that God is dope, right? I don't, I don't like that. I, 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 I am so against that. It is ridiculous. I see the T-shirts, and my guy owns a company. He makes them. He knows I love them, but still, I'm just against that. Um, I just don't think that's that's. I think, I think, I don't know. I just feel like our God is worth more than just a hip hop slaying, I don't know, that's just me. But anyways, and so the Christ gang thing just always irritates me whenever I see someone try to, I think the song was dope, I enjoyed the song, I just feel like he didn't have to say, he didn't have to title it Christ gang. I just didn't, I just don't like that. I'm not a fan of that. I just feel like me personally, like God deserves more than that, better than that. 
I'm just not a fan. I'm not a fan. So that autom when, I, when I saw the song titles, I was just like, come on, bro. Like that, he, all, that all automatically just threw me off. Anyways, this should be the last, <laughs> last cut in. I'm so sorry, man. Get the album. You won't be disappointed outside of what I said. Um, but lyrically, he kills it. Production-wise, he kills it. Um, content as far as what you need to hear, what the society needs to hear, he kills it. I think he did a great job on that. Just wish, wish he wasn't so prideful. That's real. Anyways, I'm, I'm done. Real talk, I'm done. Y'all be good. Grace.